So in the last video we learned how to create routing for our web application which was fine but we cannot expect our users to know the to navigate through our application uh, through URLs right so we cannot expect them to type a URL and navigate to a certain page so this is where something called navigation has to be given for the application so in this video we will learn how to implement the navigation menu for our application so we're going to create a separate component for navigation menu and then use it as a no as a component in our parent component so before that uh, let me add some headers to our page so that it remains same for all the three pages so i'll write h3 class name equal to margin 3 flex deflex justify content center and I will say this is react JS with web API demo okay and then I'll have one more header of size h5 here I will say employee management portal okay let's see so it should be content So we have react.js with web api demo and employee management portal this will be the this will be same for all the pages this will remain constant the only thing that changes is the the page the department page the employee page okay so now let's add the navigation menu so where we should we add we should add it here in this part right so we'll create a navigation as a separate component and then import that component in this place so I'll write new file and I'll call it as navigation dot JS okay so let's start writing the content for navigation so we're gonna have to import react and component from react okay and then import nav link from react router dom next we need import nav bar comma nav from react bootstrap so let's see if we got any issues 
no so let's proceed we're going to write export class navigation extends the component and then we have render method what goes inside render method is the HTML content for our navigation we we'll start writing our navigation menu we'll first have navbar background equal to dark background is dark and uh, expand equal to lg okay expand that expand icon mostly it will be large so i'll show you what expand icon is so navbar dot toggle area controls equal to basic navbar nav you can basically find the content in react bootstrap uh, website so that is where I have copied this so we have this next we have the nav the navigation so inside navigation and then we have to forgot one thing which should be navbar dot collapse id equal to basic navbar nav So don't spend too much on understanding what's happening here. This complete code you can find it on the React Bootstrap website. So basically, we are just implementing the navigation menu. That's it. What is important is this content here. Inside whatever we are writing now, nav link. class name equal to um, d inline p2 this is basically just the style of the link right background dark text will be white so this is what the navigation link should look like right Two. two is where you write where should it navigate to on click of that link where should it navigate it should navigate to the home page first and I'll write home okay next we have department right if department link so it will the text will be department so on click of that link it will navigate to the department component or department page next we have finally the employee component so the URL will be employment uh, employee and the text for that link will be employee so this is important the navigation where it should navigate and what should be the text of that navigation link let's see if we have any issues no so all that we have to do is import the navigation component into our parent component and just use the component so let's import it 
just like any other component we'll remove this button component since we are not using we will also remove this logo which we are not using so let's import navigation from dot slash components slash navigation let's see if there is any error no now let's add the navigation component after the header right so that it will be common to all the pages so whatever is there here will be co will be common to all three pages so what changes is whatever is there in between the switch if the switch is this the component rendered will be this home if the switch is slash the component rendered will be home if the switch is department the component rendered will be department if the path is employee then the component rendered will be employee so whatever you write here or outside the switch will remain same for all the three components or all the three pages so let's add the navigation menu over the top here and see if that works so we have nav link is not defined <coughs> okay let's see that okay where is nav link so it's not nav link sorry it's navigation So it's navigation I got a little confused with okay navigation dot JS we have some issue so it is return not return I think it should now work so let's click on home we are in home by default so we'll click on department so it is navigating to the department page and you can also check the URL and let's click on employee it's navigating to the employee page and if you look at the URL it's slash employee so that's all about implementing the navigation menu for our react.js web application